Hey, what's up, guys? Atlas Zero here, and I'm back with Dragon Ball Ultimate, and I'm here to Fusion Timmy, and we're gonna be going over the top five uh, energy blast moves in Dragon Ball Ultimate. Say hey, Timmy. Hey, guys. Fusion Timmy here. So, guys, me and Timmy are here today to show y'all the top five energy blast moves in Dragon Ball Ultimate, and he's a pretty cool YouTuber, and we're gonna be doing some more uh, Dragon Ball Roblox videos together, so go check him out in the description, and Oh, uh, subscribe to his channel so guys uh we're gonna be going over the top five moves starting with number five number five on our list is energy volley now the best thing about energy volley is it's a move to start it's a nice starter move it is a move that a lot of y'all be able to get from the beginning and for the amount of key that is used uh it is very powerful and it's a quick move you don't really have to worry about the enemy really shooting you back while you're shooting them uh, because of the quickness of it and you don't have to worry about running out of key. Yeah, it, what do you have it to say hardly about takes it hardly takes any key and it does a ton of damage. So like, let's just say you're low on key or you're trying to be really, really fast. All you gotta do is just lock on and just hit this once and you spam key blast. And I think even if you're locked on, you can still move while you're shooting the key blast. Or if you had a Kamehameha, you're stuck in that one place as you shoot it. You can't move as you're shooting it. So it's like, it has a bunch of advantages. It's good for like when you're moving in the air and it doesn't take much key and it's just great for the damage it deals. So guys, that is number five on our list. Let's go to number four. Number four is gonna be Big Bang Attack. Timmy, what do you got to say about Big Bang Attack? So basically, it's a really, really fast move. If you're just trying to like, let's just say you're trolling some people or you're about to fight them, they don't see you coming. All you gotta do is just charge this real fast and shoot it, bam, they're dead. Especially if you have a lot of power. Um, let's just say you're grinding against Goku or Cell or whoever you're fighting against, one of the NPCs. Instead of having to shoot a Kamehameha, it's just super fast, you just go boom, and then you just start flying away. Super quick. And it doesn't take that much key either. Now, only one downfall I really see about this Big Bang attack is the cooldown time. After you shoot one, it takes more it time. It does. I necessarily like to uh, shoot another one, but because of the damage per key and the quickness, I think it's not actually that bad of a move. Yeah, it's so guys, pretty that, good. So guys, that is move number four, and we're going to move on to number three, Gamma Burst Flash, which is one that a lot of y'all are going to use a lot in the beginning, uh, once you get everything up all the way, and you can't... Um, Till you rebirth because that's probably am i right to me the strongest yeah it's the one. strongest key move that you get until you get to like i think three rebirths when you get to about to the point of where you're just getting into like eight or nine million that's the point where you start getting like the strongest key moves in the game but for a long while gamma burst flash is going to be your strongest key move plus uh i believe it's actually faster than most of the key moves so it, it compared really to is. kamehameha it's actually quicker so like I, i'm doing it now and as you see, it's it's got a nice blast radius, and I can do another one actually pretty quick. See, it didn't yeah, take see? that long for the cooldown. Now, one of the disadvantages is it does take a good bit of key, but I believe it's worth it. Uh, you think it's worth it, Timmy? Absolutely. It's just like all of the strong key moves, all the blasts, that's what I call them, the waves or the blast. they all take a lot of key. That's just how they are. Oh my gosh, it just repel. <laughs> but yeah, they all take a lot of key. But they do a ton more damage. That's kind of why it does take so much key, just to kind of balance it out. So yeah, I think it's absolutely worth it. All right, so that is number three. Now, Timmy, go ahead and bring us through number two. So I think Planet Crusher is probably the second best move just because it's basically a humongous spirit bomb, but it doesn't take nearly as long to charge, as you can see. It has a humongous blast radius. Just look at that, it even expands. Uh, I believe it's like a move that Broly uses. By the way, it also does a lot of damage. Compared to the Spirit Bomb, it does a ton of damage. So, it's only on the evil side, keep that in mind. But, for what it is, it's an amazing move. It's super quick. It doesn't take that much key. I think it actually takes less than Dark King Final Flash, but it does almost as much damage. Only bad thing I could see is just like, it has such a blast radius, you could end up killing someone around you. So you gotta be careful with that. Well, guys, that is number two. Uh, I would have showed it off, but I don't have that much strength. So, Timmy, go ahead and tell everybody what our number one move on this top five energy blast move for Dragon Ball Ultimate. So, the last move I'm going to be showing off today, and it's it's kind of like uh, 
it's one of the strongest key moves, but since I've showed two on the good, like on the evil side, I'm gonna show one of the best good side moves. So instead of using like, like I don't know, final final flash, I don't know, it's like God final flash, that's what it is. Um, instead of using that, it's pretty much the same thing as Dark King final flash. I'm gonna show the best good move that you can get, and this is called Final Kamehameha. And uh, yeah, it takes a while to charge. It's just like you think, but it has such a big blast radius. It does have a pretty big cooldown, but it does a lot of damage. Like, if you go try this out, it does almost as much as, uh, like, a final Kamehameha. But the reason why I chose it is because it's only on the good side. You can't have another Kamehameha on the evil side. So it's specific to the good side. So if you're like, nah, I don't like the evil moves, this is what you get. And it's still a really awesome move. It's still the strongest move besides like god final flash i think it doesn't take as long as god final flash either but yeah that's that's our top five moves well guys i hope you all enjoyed this top five mods video for dragon ball ultimate did i say mods <laughs> yeah all right guys so that's our top five moves and if you have a different move set that you like more make sure to leave it in the comments tell me why because you might end up making me learn something i didn't even know because I, we don't know everything i don't know everything even though i'm a pro there's still stuff I don't know. That rhymed, but yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out Atlas Zero. He's a really cool guy. I'm serious. That's why I'm collaborating with him. We're probably going to be making more videos now. If you have any games you want to try out, put it in the comments. We might try Dragon Ball Rage. Who knows? Just be expecting a lot in the future. Go subscribe to him to see his side of the footage, because it's just as good. It's slightly different. Anyways, yeah. Future Timmy, signing off.